Hello, today we're looking at Deepen 15.4.1 as you can see in the bottom corner. It is a beautiful, beautiful operating system and it just improved the previous release 15.4 in many, many ways. As if you have tried it before on a virtual machine, as I'm running this in VirtualBox with I think 3 gigabytes of RAM and a 3 core processor, you would have been greeted with like a option for custom, for to like two options, and it's you would get stuck. There. But they fix it, and I love the two options, and you can configure them in the system settings. Also, if we go, I'm not exactly sure where it is. I saw it in my previous video. Let's quickly go down. I'm using the down arrow button to do this. Uh, ah, yeah, you can make it like a low graphics and a high graphics effect. I guess that's the best way to describe it. And in Vertibox you get these two options to choose from what you want. So I will put it on low graphics for the sake of this video. In my other video, on my other channel, where I click on every single thing, where I go through everything in this beautiful operating system, I use the other mode, so you can compare the two, if you want to. So if I click on the desktop, we are created with all of these options. As you can see, I love... I think it's a new icon theme. Because it looks beautiful, and then you can also sort them many different ways. I can size, I can size lots of, lots of options. I'm not going through everything, I'm just going through all of them. This is all the wallpapers. The ease. Love the ocean. SMS of African and we adore the ocean. And yeah, if you click on the launcher, we have now, if you see in the top corner, it's a nice button key here. And isn't this beautiful? This is one of the main things about this release, this launcher, and how it can convert into a absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning thing. I would love to see in the future, I'm sure they will integrate this window when you click here, that it will open up in here, maybe. But at the moment it just opened up to the file system, which is fine. And of course, you, if we go to get the options here somewhere. Ah, oh, there we go. You have the, still the fashion mode and the efficient mode. The efficient mode is basically the familiar mode for most of us. And you can also put it on the left. And top, wherever you want. Let's keep it at the bottom. They have also have put in like a lot of their own apps, the latest, the latest version of VPS office. Deep in file manager 1.4, still as beautiful as always. Actually I want to, in this video, because they last time, I don't know if you're aware of it, produced a dark theme. And some of it wasn't perfect yet. Like, oh, it's many inside of it, but as you can see, the file system is still beautiful. The screenshots got a few new fixes. I'm not going to go through everything, otherwise, I will just bore you out of this beautiful operating system. If you click on here, you get these options. It just shows these guys really want to. Make something beautiful. And I love it. Skype. I think it's Skype for Linux. I'm not exactly sure what version of Skype this will be. The software center. Oh my goodness. The software center got lots of work on and I was always like, this is a software center. If you have never seen Deepen and you thought, what is it? The software center will 
blow your mind away. There's so much awesome apps. But what I love about this software center is because there were always, this was one of the things which was always not totally up to date. And it was quite sad for many people, to say the least. And I think they really made a beautiful job fixing it. It's a bit slow as you can see, but as you see, Library Office, it is 5.2.6.2, so it's the latest stable version. Not the latest fresh version, but the latest stable version. And that's awesome. And as you can see, there's so many apps. Oh, let's say yes for Skype. No, it's still the old Skype. It's quite interesting, but that's okay. And if we go like to good games for all your gamers out there and say when Linux doesn't have great games, the Software Center proves us wrong. They brought Angry Birds to Linux. They brought so many games to Linux. Canoes last Linux. And Deepin is based on Debian. And the desktop interface they made themselves. Which is awesome. You can see, here's your music player. I don't know why it's a bit slow today. And here is like your movie player. Okay, so let's then turn on the movie effect. Or oh, maybe that's the reason. As you can see, it's a much more less. You got the idea about this effect, so let's try to find the other effect again. See how it goes. You can see all these games here. It's absolutely beautiful and you can see it like everything changes. And you got Steam here, you got See Android, Minecraft, Steam, Mega Quest, lots of games, lots of things to install. And it's a one click install. Tap in your password and there you go. And as you can see this other effect is a more familiar one, but you use more graphics. If you go to system monitor and click on resources. Just use 1.1 gigabyte. Let's go back to the other one. Because this is a new part of the new things we produced. As you can see it immediately drops like 200 megabytes of RAM. Which is quite a lot. So that's absolutely awesome. It makes me excited to see changes like that. And of course it's Chrome 58. This, we've already looked a bit in the settings. Please look at my other video where I click on everything, but this is just a beautiful idea of giving you these guys work on you, work, work, work on beautiful settings. Here's your weather. Here's your notifications. The calendar is Beautiful. Let me quickly show it to you. Why don't I have any internet at the moment? Oh, because I turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> and the off button is here. This is a beautiful release. It has crossover, I believe, 16. Which Normally you have to pay about 40 bucks for a license of crossover for all your other Linux and Mac versions and they give it out for free, which is amazing. And as I said, I got VPS Office pre-installed. Yeah, this is basically my look at Deep and 15.4.1, I absolutely love it. I think it's absolutely stunning and I'm so glad everything worked out of the box. And as you can see, this is beautiful. 
it's a world class, it's a world class operating system and I think that we should all consider it as they really put a lot of work in it to make something unique, something special, something different than the rest and I love it. Well done guys, thank you for making this and thank you for doing your own thing and making us a Linux operating system which we can put in front of people and they will be amazed by the graphics and the look of it. Thank you and enjoy. hope you enjoyed it and if you want to download it please do. There are the alternatives, it's a slow. If the, rep is, if the repos is slow, just they got the article on their website how you can find a better repo which is awesome or you can just go here if you want something quick and you can search for all these repos until you find one that is fast for you but if you open up a terminal I'm gonna press uh, type terminal quickly and I'm just gonna run updates I'm just gonna update my computer and see how long it gonna take. So the apt update, press enter, type in my password. As you can see, this is really, it's decent speed. It's like a normal speed. There's nothing s slow about them anymore. In the past, yes. Oh, cool, we got one update. As you can see, this is 73 megabytes. This is a great test. Let's see how quickly it will download 73 megabytes for update. As you can see, it's decent speed. There's nothing wrong with it. It's like one me one megabyte, and my my bandwidth at the university where I'm working is like 15 megabytes for the whole internet so this is a really decent speed there's nothing slow about it and yeah I think they fix most of the things with this other mode they put in it's not perfect yet as we saw we run into some bugs but it can be perfect for so many operating systems don't count them off give them a try love it I think I should give them a try again on my own system. Thank you for watching. See you later and goodbye.